Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be creating a jellyfish and using these Tombow brush pens, we're going to create a nice watercolor effect. I really do love making these. Please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy them as well and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see what I keep creating and to watch me grow as an artist. This is my dream and I really hope to build a YouTube channel where I can share what I'm doing and that there's people that uh, that enjoy watching it. Thanks guys. Now just starting out I'm choosing my colors. Jellyfish are usually pink so I went with lots of pinks and blues. I don't know if they're pink all the time in nature but at least in cartoons and stuff I usually see them as pink. So I chose out my palette and did little swatches just to reference what I might need. These are what I use as opposed to a paintbrush dipped in water. It does the same job, but it's a little less messy. You may have noticed I will be using a yogurt container lid as my little makeshift palette today. They work very, very well with these brush pens to just put some color down and be able to grab it with your brush when you need. So if you're looking for a little palette, I would recommend using something you got lying around the house. And once I've got all my colors laid out to start with the background of the water, let's get started. If I could tell you I would honestly no secrets between us, no it's just honesty, even if it hurts, even if it's just I really wanted to give my background some depth, so this is, I, I guess this is just the ocean scene, and of course the ocean gets a lot darker towards the bottom, so I tried to present that within my background here. Now to start on the jellyfish. I was very apprehensive <laughs> and nervous about starting, so I just did tiny little dots to map out where I wanted it to be and map out the shape of the little jellyfish top, the jellyfish head, um, whatever, their, their blob portion.
just try to solve it about someone Looking in the rear view, dreaming about the lone sun I'm not really thinking about the waves, about the next one Not really about that, you did never like that You know what you feel to me, is all the truth now I'm not really sure how, I love you and that's why I'm learning so much about love Of course I'll make the drop on up to see you Two hours is nothing, two K was a bit too Now these tentacly bits, I uh, <laughs> these were fun to paint. I just kind of rubbed my brush back and forth in a in a line that was wavy to emulate the little frills that they have. And I just did three of these little tentacles. I wanted to do a few more, but I also didn't want to crowd the picture or make it look a little bit too messy if I added in too many. So I just stuck to three. I uh, tried to put in some details, some dark spots, some lines to define the frills a little bit more. And I added some pink as well throughout them just to match to the jellyfish top portion a little bit better. Now my second to last step, I'm just adding some depth and darkening some spots that will be underneath the jellyfish where the light wouldn't hit as nicely. Of course, jellyfish are generally very see-through, very, very sheer, but that was hard to present in this picture and I thought that adding a few shadows would look nice, wouldn't hurt at all, and I like how it turned out. I really really recommend that you pick up a nice white gel pen it comes in so handy and it just I find that it adds so much more to a picture to have really bright white highlights in certain areas just like you want those deep deep shadows having those bright whites is just it, it's so beautiful Yeah. 
and I'm all done! I quickly wanted to show you guys a jellyfish that I did with the same pens and using the watercolor technique that I made a few months ago and the, di <laughs> the difference between them is striking. I just wanted to show you guys to encourage you to keep going. The first time you make something it might not be the best but keep keep going look back on the mistakes and find what you want to improve for next time. I'm so happy with how this turned out and I'm sure the third time I do a jellyfish it'll be even better. I just wanna say, babe, I need